Welcome to CIE Math Solutions. In this video, we will continue the series of math tutorial videos about sequences and series. In today's video, we will learn the fastest way of finding the common difference of an arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression given any two of its terms. Welcome to another video of CIE Math Solutions. In the previous videos, we have already discussed the process of finding the specific terms of an arithmetic sequence given its general rule. We have also discussed the process of finding the specific terms given its first three terms. The playlist containing these videos together with other math tutorial videos on sequences and series are found on the link above this video or in the description below. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon for you to be notified when new videos are uploaded. If you have already subscribed, please watch, like and share the videos of the channel. Thank you. In this video, we will focus on the fastest way of finding the common difference of an arithmetic sequence or progression given any two of its terms. But before we proceed, let us have a quick recall of the prerequisite concepts needed. The basic concepts of arithmetic sequence or progression. For a given arithmetic sequence, the terms 15, 21, and 27 are denoted by an. In this arithmetic sequence then, a1, which is the first term, is 15, a2 is 21, a3 is 27. The common difference of an arithmetic sequence is denoted by d. d here is equal to 27 minus 21 or 21 minus 15, which are both equal to 6. The common difference then of this arithmetic sequence is 6. If you would like to learn and practice more on the basic concepts about arithmetic sequence or progression, you may click on the link above this video or on the description below. Now let us explore the fastest way of finding the common difference of an arithmetic sequence or progression given any two of its terms. For example, the second and sixth terms of an arithmetic sequence or progression are 2 and 30 respectively. Find the common difference. Before we could find the common difference, let us illustrate first the location of the given. We then have a2, a3, a4, a5, and a6, a2 denoting the second term and a6 denoting the sixth term. Take note that we can get a3 by adding the common difference or d to a2, that is, a2 plus d is equal to a3. The same case for a4, a3 plus d is equal to a4. The same case for a5, a4 plus d is equal to a5. And a6 is equal to a5 plus d. How many times did we add the common difference from a all the way up to a6? There are 4 d's added from a to a6. We can actually check this by subtracting the order of the given terms. 6 is the order of a6 and 2 is the order of the second term. Subtracting them, 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. There are 4 d's added from a up to a6. Now let us use the values of a2 and a6 given. If we subtract a6 and a2, it will give us the value that has been added from a all the way up to a6. In this case, 30, that is a6, minus 2, that is a2, 
that is equal to 28. This means that 28 is the total of all the common differences added from A2 to A6. That is, 4D is equal to 28. Dividing both sides by 4, we will then have D equals 7. Therefore, the common difference of this arithmetic sequence is equal to 7. Let us have another example. The 7th and 12th terms of an arithmetic sequence or progression are 39 and negative 6, respectively. Find the common difference. To illustrate this, we then have A7, A8, A9, A10, A11, and A12. Subtracting their orders, 12 minus 7 is equal to 5. This means that there are 5 Ds added, starting off with A7 plus D, that is equal to A8. A8 plus D is A9. A9 plus D is A10. A10 plus D is A11. A11 plus D is equal to A12. We can then verify that there are 5 Ds added from A7 up to A12. Subtracting the values of A12 and A7, negative 6 minus 39 is equal to negative 45. We then have 5 Ds added that is equal to negative 45. Dividing both sides by 5, we will then have D equals negative 9. The common difference then of these arithmetic sequence is negative 9. Now it's your turn. The ninth term and 16th term of the arithmetic sequence or progression are 34 and 90 respectively. Find the common difference. If you would like to try to answer this item, please pause the video for a while and when you are done, press the play button to check your answers. Now let us have the answer. To illustrate this, a9 until A16. Subtracting their orders, we have 16 minus 9 is equal to 7. Subtracting the respective values of A16 and 9, we then have 90 minus 34 is equal to 56. We then have 7D that is added from A9 to A16 is equal to 56. Dividing both sides by 7, D is equal to 8. The common difference then of the arithmetic sequence is equal to 8. If you got the answers correct, then congratulations! You now know how to find the common difference of a given arithmetic sequence given any two of its terms. Now you have some more practice exercises. For your homework or assignment, Find the common difference of an arithmetic sequence or progression with the following terms. For i, a17 is equal to 23, a24 is equal to 107. For double i, a25 is 14, and a34 is negative 103. If you would like to check if your answers are correct, type them in the comment section below. I will soon reply to your comment verifying your answers. To summarize what we have learned today, to find the common difference of an arithmetic sequence or progression given any two of its terms, first, subtract the order of the terms given. That will give the number of common differences added. Second, subtract the values of the terms given. Third, equate the results and find the value of D. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on math proofs and derivations, math tutorial videos, solve items from international exams, math tricks and puzzles, math resources and more, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share.
very much for your continued support to CIE Math Solutions.